Hello, in this video I'm going to do one achieved question from level 2 maths 2008 of this standard solve straightforward trigonometric equations so question number one is I'm going to show this in three different ways so that you understand uh, the logic behind uh, solving trig equation so the question is solve the following trig equation question is uh, cos x is root 3 over 2 and x is between 0 degree to 360 degree so they're asking us to write uh, what are x or what which are the possible values of x between 0 to 360 okay so now let me first draw the cos curve cosine curve you should know so now this is your maximum this is your maximum this is your minimum and this is your baseline so cos 0 uh, this is a 1 and this is negative 1 so cos 0 cos 0 is 1 okay uh, so this is a 90 degree and uh, this is 180 this is 270 and this is 360 so cos 0 is 1 cos 90 is let me use a different color cos 0 is 1 cos 90 is 0 I'll show this on a circular trick or circular a unit circle cos 180 is negative 1 so this is the a basic uh, cosine curve so let me draw this so this is cosine curve would look somewhat like this goes down hits a minimum and this is your cosine curve okay now now this is a uh, unit circle so this is a uh, this uh, is a radius this is a circle with radius one so i hope you understand this is one zero okay and this is you may be wondering why i'm explaining these things because if you don't know uh, you can go through a process and get the answer but you're not understanding what is actually a trig function so this is 0 1 this is negative 1 0 and this is 0 negative 1 so here uh, as I've discussed in other videos of trig equation when you're looking at a trig equation or uh, a trig function you are thinking of a particle which is moving anti-clockwise okay so this is where you start so this is a point a and point a is your starting point there your particle has moved zero degrees okay so that's where it starts when it comes to say b at this point it has moved 90 degree when it has, when, when it has come to c it has moved 180 uh, d 270 and 360 okay now one more fact that uh, i have discussed again in the other videos but i will repeat better repeating it so if this is a right angle triangle okay using soka toa cos cos so let me write it here cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse which is x over one which is x so x is nothing but cos theta and using again soka toa sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse hypotenuse is one so i'm not writing one so it's so sine theta is y and cos theta is x so this is very uh, important information or you can relate your x with cos theta and y with sine theta that i'll be using this later okay now what does this mean uh let me sh explain this on this suppose the question is when does this cos function now this is your cos function this is your y is equal to cos x okay so the question is when does this become root 3 over 2 so let me show so this is cos x is this is about uh, 0.87 okay I'll show it on calculator so you go shift root 3 divided by 2 is 0.87 in uh, 2 dp 
So basically this question is, when does this function, your cost function, become, become 0.87? So making an estimate, so point eight. this is 0 and this is 1, so point 0.87 probably comes here, okay? This is a very good guess, so this is point 0.87. So when does your cost function become point 0.87 is the question. So, well, I can say I can make a guess here. This is some value of x, I don't know. And as it is symmetrical, uh, this is... Let me use a different color. This is 0. So this, the other value when cos x would be 0 0.87 would be somewhere here. So let me show you that. So if you draw, if you extend this line, okay. So as it is symmetrical, as it is symmetrical, this distance, this distance is equal to this distance. So this is a 360 degree, this is 180 degree, okay? So if you know this angle, if you know this angle, if suppose this is a x, yeah, this is called your principal angle. If your principal angle is x, this value, this value would be 360 minus your principal angle. Uh, it's all getting messed up, so three, so let me write it. So this is your 360 degree, I'll write 360 in the top. So if this is, this is your reference angle or your principal angle, if that is x, this value would be 360 minus your principal angle. So this distance, as it is symmetrical, this and this are the same. Okay, so, so, so first thing you need to find is, you have to find the principal angle. So we say, okay, x, or your principal angle, your reference angle, is cos inverse of root 3 divided by 2. So whenever you're finding principal angle, you always find the positive. Even if it was negative here, I would have gone root 3 over 2. So let me use a calculator. So x prime, or x reference angle, principal angle, is, now the first thing I have to check is whether the calculator is set in degrees. So it is set in degrees. So I'll go shift cos, sorry, shift cos bracket root 3 divided by 2. Close the bracket. And that's a very neat number, 30 degree. So your x prime, or sorry, x reference angle or your principal angle is 30 degree. Okay. So this is your x. So this is your principal and your x. So I can say x is 30 degree which is the same as principal angle, and 360 minus, 360 minus 30, which is 330 degree. Okay. I'll sh okay. Now, how can you check this on the calculator? If you, okay. So, if you press cos 30 degree, would be 0.8. This is nothing but root 3 over 2. And if you check cos 330, that will also be the same number. Okay, so our answer is right. Now, how can we do this without drawing the cos curve? Now, as I told you, cos is cos you uh, cos relates to your x value. So here, if you want to do in a unit circle, so let me delete this now. So we are going to think how to do this in a unit circle. Okay, and then ultimately I'll show you how to do this on a calculator. Okay, so let me delete this. Okay, so here the question is, if you want to do an x corresponds to x. So the question is, when does, this is a, this is 1, 0. This is 1, comma 0. So on the x axis, when does this become 0 0.87? So somewhere here. So I can say this is 0 0.87 on, or 0.866. So this is 0 0.87 in 2 dp. So here, so at this point, so what I'm saying is, uh, let us draw. So let me draw. Okay. And so this is the question. So this is, 
So if you use cos, uh, this reference angle is 30 degree. This is 30 degree. It doesn't seem to be 30 degree. So this is, we know cos inverse of root 3 over 2 is 30 degree. So if this is 0.866 in the first quadrant, the other value that uh, you'll have would be in the fourth quadrant. So if you draw 30 degree in the fourth quadrant, say yeah, and uh, let me extend this. Okay. I'll delete this. Okay, so what do I mean? I'm getting very complicated. So let me show you this again. I think we can finish it off. So this is, this is nothing but 30 degree. This is nothing but 30 degree. This is 30 degree in the first quadrant. And this is 30 degree in the, both these angles refer, corresponds to 0.87 on the x-axis. Does it make sense? Both these 30 degree in the first and the fourth quadrant corresponds to 30 degree. But we are interested in a particle which has which has moved anticlockwise from this starting point. So this 30 degree actually you should have written this is anticlockwise. Or so sorry, this is clockwise. So you should not write 30 degree here. You should write here minus 30 degree. So if you go anticlockwise, it is positive. So this is nothing but minus 30 degree. That means you're going clockwise. If you go clockwise, it's positive. And if you go anticlockwise, it's, sorry, if you go clockwise, it's negative. And if you go anticlockwise, it's positive. So minus 30 degree in the fourth quadrant is same as 330 degree. So let me finally finish it off on a calculator. If you go to graph and you type in cos x, and then you have to change your setting. A trig, it should be trig scale 0 to 360 degree. And uh, this is your cost curve. You can see this. You want to find your x value. So you go x calc and y is root 3 divided by 2. The first answer is 30 degrees. So can you see this is in the first quadrant. So this is 30 away from the origin. The other answer would be 30 away from the 360 degrees. So if you scroll this, the other answer is 330 degrees. I'll do a few more examples in the next video.